Hello Sagittarius, welcome to my channel and welcome to the reading for the month of June. Um, I will be using the coffee cup and then I'll be reading from the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot deck here as well as the beautiful Monology Oracle um, deck as well. All right. Sagittarius. Okay, please do like, share and subscribe also if you haven't done so already and um, do hit that notification bell also. It really would help. Okay, lovely Sagittarians. Let us see what we have for you. Sagittarius. I see you're going to have a smile at the end of something that you have been going through. And there is something within you that you know this is going to happen. And that smile is a winning smile. It is you that has won over this kind of um, dark spell that, you know, period that you've been under. So something, something that I, the clouds are already leaving. Those dark clouds are already leaving your your part, your life, your area here, you know, it's leaving. Sun is shining. You have the biggest smile. Again, and it's a smile that is like, aha, like, all right. It actually is happening, whatever it may be, you know. It, and it's like the way it works out. It's like, whew. That there's like, um, you know, what I see here, like at the end, you're going to go, I knew it. I knew it. Even when times were really tough, sometimes it was difficult to see that, but there was something deep within you that you just knew. And that's what's coming through. Something's going to be very revealing. And I also see things will harmonize. Things are going to be a lot more in harmony. You're going to really, really enjoy things. It's going to get better as the month goes on. I see things blossoming around you. I know you're like, whoa, whoa you know, entering summer and all that, but there is something that, um, I don't necessarily mean like actual flowers or anything, but there's like matters that you, um, or, or projects and things like that, you know, you've been, you've been, um, steadily working on or focusing on or and and it's like whatever blockages that there were Sagittarius is starting to come through and really grow and blossom this is what I see starting to really actually the flowers are coming out from all of this now something has been lifted off where these flowers are now able to grow and be full of color beautiful colors and and beautiful smell you know it's not it's not like because I do see there was something that you felt like was lost. Like you're looking at this pot of soil and you're like, where's the plant? Or maybe there's like some shoots that have come up, but like it should flower. It should have flowered ages ago and it's still alive. But why is it not flowering? And then it's like, oh, so, like the flowers are there. The flowers are there and they're more beautiful than ever. And then your whole house just smells so beautifully because of that one flower. That makes sense. I mean, I'm using like my own metaphorical things. <laughs> I hope it makes sense. It is what I see. And it's something so special and unique to you. I also see for many of you, you're very much like a provider. Um, you know, you, you have this kind of responsibility. Yes, you, you, it's not like I am the one that's going to do everything. No, of course, you, you allow others to chip in to help and all that. Um, but it's like you need this sort of security blanket around you and there's something that you're going to outperform yourself when it comes to uh, gaining more um, financial security, you know. There's like all these blessings coming, financial blessings. So that's something here is, 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 is coming through. And um, I do see something that you're going to get involved in in where it's like a sort of like a I don't know like a gamble of some sort like a like a um I don't know if it's like maybe you invest in something and you're just guessing what would be good to invest in no idea you know I mean this is just like one 
This is just an example. And you're just going to, just from that one guess, it works out really well. You know, so it's like the universe is putting you on the right side of things. Um, it's like, oh, lucky guesses, lucky guesses. Um, so you may start noticing things like that. There's something about uh, gold hooped earrings, like on the smaller side, that's coming through. Um, so maybe that's you or you have them or, or you had them in the past and you're thinking of them. There's something here, but it's like you're missing these gold hooped earrings. Uh, and maybe you're starting to look for them. I know it's this is very random message, but that's what I see. And do let me know. If, anyway, there's a message here for you. Do let me know if that that is uh, you. Um, I do see spiritually protected Sagittarius, and there is something that you're going to be informed of before it gets out of hand. This is you being spiritually protected. Something that it could be happening and if you didn't know about it, it would blow up in your face. But you are being informed and that is a blessing because you get to like put out fires before it goes out of um, hand and you're saved, you're secured, you're good, you know? I also see you're gonna you're gonna tell some you're gonna put a pin in in it, in something from, from someone else. So um it's like you're gonna have to just put your foot down and tell somebody to stop mouthing off kind of thing or somebody has a, a, a big mouth basically um <laughs> i do see somebody around you in terms of somebody with the matters of the heart um you know some kind of connection that is a very hard worker um and misses you that's what i'm getting somebody that really misses you but i do see you know you um Trust and believe in this process a lot more in terms of everything that's happening um, with you, Sagittarius. Things are starting to really blossom as the month goes on. Seven of Swords. Okay. Seven of Swords. Se oh, seven of Pentacles. I do feel like also you're going to be leaving some things behind. Oh, and the lovely Empress. Okay, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, and the Empress. And I do feel here with the Seven of Swords, it is you leaving something behind that is no longer useful for you. And you're doing things, it's like you're rejecting somebody doing uh, things in the wrong manner, in the wrong way. That's just not you. It's not healthy. It's not productive. You're doing things your own way. Even if it takes a little bit longer, that's okay. You know that at the end of the day, it's going to be very abundant for you. And that is what's coming through. Something that you're going to actually live this abundance. You know, you're going to live this abundance, something that oh, too many cards something that feels very uh very you you know you're not the type to live under anyone else's shadow you are you Oof. okay the chariot and the five of cups chariot and the five of cups <laughs> there are some things that i see you will um well, first of all, something that you've been planning, you will succeed greatly from in this plan. However, what well, most things are, uh, are coming through from something that you've um, put forward. But there's something that I do see, you know, here with the Five of Cups, for you to release some past energy. Because you should be focusing on what is most fulfilling in your life right now something that's coming through because here with the chariot you're going forth you are rising up you you're ready for this you're going down this strong open path and you're picking up opportunities along the way it's opening for you but there is some energy I'm getting here with the Five of Cups, energy from the past that needs to be completely gone, banished, released. Because your energy is too sacred, it's too special for you to still be connected to these Three of Cups that are spilt on the ground. No need for that. There is something that I see is far more stronger and richer behind you. And it's important to, um, you know, just look at that more. Focus on that only, actually. There's a lot more that you cannot see that's coming uh, to you. A lot more. And I do also get the finer things in life. Really interesting. There's something, you know, you could be living with the finer things in life. Hmm. 
Let's see, let's see. Oh, hoo -hoo. look who comes out. It is you, Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. I love her. The Queen of Wands. Yes. You know what? The first thing I, I see here is that you're not going to be easily distracted from anything around you that wants to take your eyes or attention away from the beautiful things that you have going. It's just not going to happen. No one can like um, defeat you in that way no energies around you so I, I love you know i said you have to rise up and you're rising up like you're right here and that's beautiful sunflower to me that's a confirmation of the things that are truly blossoming around you and i also see emotional fulfillment with this you know your your passion is being reignited i'm getting and um there's like what i'm sensing from this you have something where you you know you touch something and it turns to gold and you're living life to the fullest and you should these are the energies showing up for you that is very very possible for you Sagittarius and you deserve it there is something that you that I also get somebody being very in awe of you you know of your attitude of how you are and and um there's also, I see expression, like you're expressing yourself as others expressing. It's like, ooh, it's a lot of loving energy around you. I also see when you need to stand your ground, you're going to stand your ground. It is like this, this confidence is coming through, you know, and if you need to renegotiate something, you're, you're being heard, you're being listened to. Okay, let's see what the monology card has. Oh! <laughs> What did I just say? What did I just say? Uh, confidence is your key to success. You moon and Leo. Confidence is your key to success. What did I just say? Your confidence. You know, people will listen to you with this, with how you rise up. And you tell them, you know. And, there's, and of course, you're highly attractive in your confidence. And when you're confident, you were more attractive in that sense, you know, and you focus on something, you see it and you will have it, you know, for you, I do see you're not wasting any more time. That's when you have this sort of like awareness awakening here and being like, oh, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. That, that, you know, is like taking my energy, not going anywhere. Things are, are, are going to change in many ways for you in, in that way you like i said you're really living life to to in, in the best way for yourself and you do you after the seven of swords i feel like yeah you're doing it your own way and it works love it love it thank you so much sagittarius for being here really hope that this was helpful please do let me know i truly appreciate all of you thank you so much for your support please do take care and until next time